PFCBOTTH micron v Plovdiv, or simply Botov, is the oldest continuously existing Bulgarian association football club. The club was founded on March 12, 1912 by a group of students in Plovdiv. Its home ground, the Stadion Botov, is located in the residential quarter of Komentsa and currently is under construction. Therefore, home matches are played at club's training ground in Kumortvo neighborhood. The team currently competes in A Football Group, the top division of the Bulgarian Football League system. The club is named as Botov in honor of the Bulgarian national hero Hristo Botov. The club's colors are yellow and black. The Canaris are two-time champions of A Group and have won the Bulgarian Cup two times. Also, in the Bulgarian Top Championship, Botov have been vice-champion twice and have finished third on the league table ten times. As for the Bulgarian Cup tournament, the team has reached a final ten times. In the years before A Group was created, the club is a six-time champion of Plovdiv. Internationally Botov has reached a Cup Winners' Cup quarter-finals once and has won the Balkans' Cup once. The club is a four-time winner of the Trimentium Cup. The club won the Interleague 86 Cup. History. Equals early years equals, Botov Plovdiv was founded in 1912 and is the oldest still existing football club in Bulgaria. Stoyan Putov became president, Nenko Pnilov was the vice president, Patadelov secretary and tenor Rusev steward. Rusev named it Botov in honor of the Bulgarian national hero Hristo Botov. Since then, the club's name has been changed for political reasons several times, Botov, DNB. 1947 a Euro 51, DNA, SKNA, Botov and Trachea. The current name is Botov Plovdiv. The club's colors, yellow and black, were adopted in 1917. In 1920, the team won the unofficial football championship of Plovdiv. On August 30, 1925, the Canaries played their first official international match against the Turkish Fina Bahar Section E. In the next year, the team led by the coach and captain Nikola Shtrov, won the first official trophy, the Cup of Plovdiv. Botov Plovdiv became National League champions for the first time in 1929, winning the final against Levski Sofia. The Canaries won with 1-0 the final game in Sofia. The goal scored Nikola Shtrov. Key players during this period included Nikola Shtrov, Stanko Prodin, Vangel Kornzhaev and Mural Kostov, who also played for the national team. Equals 1950 Euro 1960 equals, in 1951, Botov Plovdiv joined the newly created Bulgarian APFG. Despite being relegated in 1953 to the Bulgarian BPFG, in 1954 the club easily won promotion for the top division. 1956 was very successful for the team which finished third in the domestic league and qualified for the final of the Bulgarian Cup, where Botov faced Levski Sofia. The final match was lost by the Canaries with 2-5. In the next few years, the local municipality decided to build a new venue for the sports club. The construction for the sports complex started on July 21, 1959 and was built in a period of two years. The new stadium was named Hristo Botov, in honor of the national hero. The sport venue was inaugurated with a friendly match between Botov and Stoa Bikariti, which was won by the Canaries with 3-0 in front of 20,000 spectators. Equals Dinko Domin's high of era equals, in 1961 Botov finished third in the APFG, the second time in the club's history. This championship also marked the first appearance of the club's most important player Dinko Domenzhaev and the beginning of Botov's golden age. Domenzhaev holds Botov's overall appearances record, playing in 447 matches for the club. Second is Vidna Postolog with 429 matches and third is Peter Zatinsky with 351. Botov's all-time leading scorer is also Domenzhaev who scored 194 goals at his period in the club. Kostadin Kostadin was the bot of second highest scorer with 106 goals and third is Atanas Pashev with 100 goals. Under the leadership of Dinko Domenzhaev, Botov won their first Bulgarian Cup in 1962, B 
beating Duna Rus 3 Euro 0 at Vasilevsky National Stadium in Sofia on August 12. In the 1962 Euro 63 season Botov reached the quarter-final of the Cup Winners' Cup by eliminating Stoa Bicaretti and Shamrock Rovers before losing to Atla copyright Tico Madrid 1 Euro 5 on aggregate. In the same season the team finished runners-up in APFG with 40 points, only three less than the first, Spartak Plovdiv. In 1967 Botov became champions for the second time. The championship team featured several notable players, such as Vidna Postolov, Georgi Popov and Riko Stoyanov, with Vasil Spasov as head coach. Botov represented Bulgaria in the 1967 Euro 68 European Champions Cup where they lost in the first round to Rapid Bikarati after 2-0 win in Plovdiv and 0 a Euro 3 loss in Romania. A five years later, in 1972, the team became winner of the Balkans Cup for the first time playing against Yugoslavian Vilea three-quarters Mostar after two spectacular final matches to take the cup. Equals European achievements, the Golden Team equals, in 1981, the club's forward Georgi Slavkov won the club's highest individual achievement, the European Golden Shoe after finishing as Europe's top domestic scorer with 31 goals. The same year, the team won its second Bulgarian Cup, after a win against Prindlagvrad. This period was very successful for the club. Botov finished third in the APFG, in 1981, 1983, 1985, 1987, 1988 and second in 1986. In this year the team finished with 41 points, only two less than the first, Burrow, in spite of the 8 Euro 1 win against Burrow in the direct match. Many of the club's most notable stars played around this time, such as Antim Pelivanov, Dimitar Vyov, Athanas Pashev, Dimitar Mladen, Zoprian Rakov, Blagoy Banov and Peter Zaitinsky, forming the notable Golden Team. An important achievement of that period was the 1985 Cup Winners' Cup campaign, when Botov qualified for the second round of the tournament. The team secured a 2 Euro 0 victory against the German powerhouse Bayern Munich. On November 7, 1984, in front of more than 45,000 spectators at Plovdiv Stadium, Athanas Pashev and Kostadin Kostadinov scored for the win, but Botov were eliminated after losing 1-4 in the first leg. Another memorable win is the 1-0 home victory over Barcelona in a Cup Winners' Cup first leg in 1981. Equals Broker Zero equals, in 1992, the club was bought by a conglomerate of brokers led by Hristo Alexandrov and Hristo Danv. They brought in players with experience in Bulgarian football, such as Nasko Syarikov, Boshidar Iskrinov, Kostadin Vidalov and Borislav Mihailov. In this period, Botov signed the first foreign player in the club's history, the Hungarian Roberto Sabe. These big investments however did not bring any significant results and the club only reached third place in the APFG in 1993, 1994 and 1995. Equals Hristolov takeover, financial implosion equals, on March 19, 1999 Botov was acquired by Dimitar Hristolov. This day marked the beginning of difficult years for the club. In the 2000 Euro 01 season, the team was relegated to BPFG, after playing 47 years in the APFG. Botov spent one season in the second division and quickly returned to the top flight, but in 2004 the club was relegated for the second time. From 2005 to 2009 the club played in the APFG, but in the second part of the league table. On February 24, 2010, Botov Plovdiv were administratively relegated from APFG due to financial difficulties. Botov's opponents were awarded 3-0 wins by default during the second half of the season. Equals 2010 a Euro present equals, after the financial collapse of the club in 2010. Botov Plovdiv started participation in the Bulgarian third division for the 2010 Euro 11 season. The club was completely rebuilt with a new organizational structure but featuring players with first league and international experience such as striker Atanas Kurdov, midfielder Toda Timonov, captain Nikolay Mankov, and goalkeeper Arman Ambartsumian. Botov finished as a champion in the third league with 37 wins and one draw and got a promotion to the second tier of Bulgarian football, BPFG.
For the new season the club hired a new coach a Euro Hubchev, who has international experience as a player and coach, succeeding Kostadin Vidalov. But because of bad results, Hubchev was fired in October 2011. Bosch have reached an agreement with a new coach a Euro Milan Radukhanov who didn't show good results either. The team had one win four draws and two losses, and he was fired too. Kostadin Vidal have returned and succeeded in gaining a promotion to Bulgarian football elite after a playoff win against FC Sportist Svoj. In the 2012 a Euro 13 season, after the appointment of Stanimir Stoilov as head coach, the team gradually started to show good play and earned the fourth place in the Bulgarian highest football tier. Promising youngster Toda Nadelov and veteran Ivan Kvitkov led the club to victories against some of the top teams of Bulgarian football such as Levski Sofia and Litex Lovic at home. Though only the first three teams of APFG qualified for the UEFA tournaments, the fourth was allowed to participate in the UEFA Europa League tournament, taking the place of the at that time financially disturbed team of CSKA Sofia. The game against the Kazakhstan club FC Astana in the first qualifying round of the tournament marked the return of Botov to the European scene, as the club lay dormant on the European stage for 17 years. In the first leg, played in Astana, Botov managed to win a Euro 0 victory. In the second leg, played in the Laser Stadium in Burgas, Botov won 5 0, thus eliminating Astana with a combined score of 6 0. In the second qualifying round the club faced Harkes Rinchki Mostar and with a 1 a Euro 1 draw in the first leg in Mostar, and a 2 a Euro 0 victory in the second leg played in Burgas, Botov eliminated the team from Bosnia and Herzegovina. In the third qualifying round the Bulgarian team faced BFB Stuttgart. With results of 1 a Euro 1 in Bulgaria and 0 a Euro 0 in Germany, Botov was eliminated because of the away goal rule undefeated in internationally for the season. Season 2013 a Euro 14 started excellent for the team, but in the beginning of the second quarter Botov slid down from the top spots, experiencing a minor crisis, because of injured players. Honours, a group, winners 1929, 1967, runners-up, 1963, 1986 third place, 1930, 1937, 1943, 1957, 1961, 1981, 1983, 1985, 1987, 1988, 1993, 1994, 1995, Bulgarian Cup, winners 1962, 1981, runners-up, a Euro 1947, 1956, 1963, 1964, 1984, 1991, 1993, 1995, 2014, Bulgarian Super Cup, runners-up, 2014, Bulgarian Soviet Army Cup, runners-up, 1990, Balkans Cup, winners 1972, runners-up, 1981, UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, quarter-finals, 1963, Trimentium Cup, winners 1943, 1984, 1987, 1989. European Tournaments History 1. Sporting Studenisk withdrew from the tournament. Equals UEFA Ranking equals, as of September 20, 2014. Stadium. In 1959, the authorities allowed the construction of a new club stadium at the place of the old field in the neighborhood of Kementa. The first building works began on July 21, 1959. Two years later, Botov Plovdiv returned to the college. On May 14, 1961 the reconstructed stadium was inaugurated. The Prime Minister Euro Anton Yugov Euro attended the celebrations together with the Deputy Minister of the Defense Dobrigerov and most of the Communist leaders. The celebrations ended with a friendly match against FC Stoa Bikarati won by the Yellow Blacks with 3-0. For more than 30 years, no big repairs were done on the college. In 1993, during the presidency of Risto Danv, some serious repairs were made. The visitors' changing room was moved to the eastern part of the stadium. A tunnel under the east and the north stand was built to connect the visitors a Euro unregistered trademark changing room with the field and the capacity of the stadium was reduced. 
In 1995 electric lighting was put in, but ironically it did not reach the standards of the Bulgarian Football Union. In the years from 1926 to 1947, Botov played six international games on the ground a Euro two wins, three losses and one draw. The matches were played against Admira Vienna, Kakskima Copyright T, Boic Tai, Bohemians Prague and a famous wonder team of Austria Vienna respectively. The attendance record was set on February 27, 1963 during the quarter-final of the Cup Winners' Cup against Atla Copyright Tico Madrid a Euro 40,000 people. The record for the Bulgarian Championship was set in 1966 against Levski Sofia, 0-1, a Euro 37,000 people, but because of the riots between the fans and the rush of fans on the field, Botov Plovdiv was forced to play its derbies at the Big House a Euro the City Stadium. Several times, the stadium was used for football matches from the city rivals from Lokomotiv Plovdiv. During the second half of the 1980-81 season, the Smurfs played their home matches on the college as well as one match in the 2003 April season. Spartak Plovdiv also used the stadium for several matches during the 1995-1996 season. The stadium has also hosted the Bulgarian Cup final in 2000 when Levski Sofia won the cup after 2-0 against Naftex Burgas. In the summer of 2008, the stadium underwent renovations to meet the requirements of the football union, the central stand was renovated and the new visitors' changing room was built under it. On March 26, 2012 began a major reconstruction of the stadium, starting with conceptual design by architect Georgi Savov and supported by the new owner of the team's Vitan Vasilev. According to estimates construction will consume about 15 million euro, and the facility must be ready for operation by mid-2015 just in time to host matches at the 2015 UEFA European Under-17 Championship. The reconstruction will be carried out in two phases, the first starting from the end of March 2012 and will last four months. The first stage consists in the replacement of the field, which will have modern drainage system and heating system. The field will be measuring 68 x 105 meters. Second stage consists of the demolishing of the four old tribunes and building of new ones closer to the football field. On home match days, Botov Plovdiv's players traditionally enter the pitch to the Blue Canary tune before the start of a game. Colors The colors of the club are golden yellow and black, adopted in 1917. There are two stories about how the colors were chosen. The first states that yellow and black is a symbol of the unity between the Catholic Collegians and the Orthodox school fellows as the club's stadium a Euro Hristo Botov was built in close proximity with the Catholic College of Plovdiv. The second story says that the founders of the club copied the organizational structure from the then very popular Austrian clubs and that they took the colors of the Austro-Hungarian imperial flag. Equals club's motto equals, Botov Plovdiv's motto is, beauty, faith and fight. Current squad, as of September 4, 2015 Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. For recent transfers, see Transfers Summer 2015. Equals on loan equals, Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality equals retired numbers equals 12 number retired for the fans equals foreign players equals up to five non-eu nationals can be registered and given a squad number for the first team in the apfg however only three can be used during a match day those non-eu nationals with european ancestry can claim citizenship from the nation their ancestors come from if a player does not have European ancestry he can claim Bulgarian citizenship after playing in Bulgaria for five years. Player of the Year Managerial History This is a list of the last ten bot of Plovdiv managers, key, served as caretaker manager. As of December 3, 2014 Chairman Notable Stats, Note, for a complete list of bot of Plovdiv players, see Category PFC bot of Plovdiv players. References. External links. Official website.